Today we will be converting the colored live preview into the grayscale in real time. This is what we are going to achieve today. If I turn on this toggle button, it will be converted to the grayscale in real time. And if I turn off this switch, it will be back to the colored one. All right, without any further delay, let's get started. We will continue with the previous implementation of Camera X. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. It will be available at the top right corner of the video. So first of all, we need to add an image analysis use case. Add a new image analysis and then we need to have image analysis builder and then build it. And then after that, we have to attach the analyzer with the image analysis use case. Attach the executor. And then we have to attach the analyzer. So at this point, whenever there is a new image available, this callback will be called. So first of all, we need to convert this image proxy object into the bitmap. To convert this image proxy object into bitmap object, we need a utility method from the Google ML Kit examples. I will put the link in the description. So download the two files from the available link and put that in the project the two files will be bitmap bitmap utils and the frame metadata first of all we have to go to the bitmap utils and then we have to remove this import from here and then click on it and then import this class again so now that we have a uh, utility methods available now we can use this method to convert this image proxy object into the bitmap so this bitmap should be final so it will be bitmap and then we have to use the bitmap utils and get bitmap method and then pass the image object and now after that when we have this bitmap available we need to close this image proxy object so for this bitmap first we need to check if it is not null then we need to proceed further so if this bitmap is not null, we have to convert it to the grayscale. So this will return us a new image which is a gray bitmap and then we have to call this method to grayscale. So in this method to grayscale, first it will get the current bitmap and get its dimensions and create a new bitmap from that and then apply color matrix on it and color matrix filter on it and then return the new grayscale bitmap the method is requiring a bitmap so pass this now that we have a gray bitmap now we need to show it to the user so if we go to the ui first of all we have to remove this preview view from the ui so just replace this preview view with the image view which is this one we can rename this method also like so and then everything else will be the same go back to the main activity so now we have an error right here because because the preview is not available right now so we will check this later on so after converting this bitmap into the grayscale we need to apply this bitmap into the image view which is this one so in the main activity, we have to call this image view from the binding image view and then set image bitmap, which is a gray bitmap. And the important point right here is we need to call this method from the UI thread. So call UI thread and it will be a new runnable. Move this method up here. And now we need to attach this image analysis use case with the life cycle. So as we have removed the preview from the UI, we need to remove this use case preview use case also. And now we have to replace this preview with the image analysis use case. So now let's run the application. As we can see, we are currently viewing the grayscale converted image. And you can see there is no lag in it. So now we need to apply a toggle switch to this bitmap. 
whenever this switch is enabled we have to convert this grayscale else we do not want to convert it so again we have to update the ui right here and now we have to add a new toggle switch in this one which is a toggle button right here after adding the toggle button in the ui now we need to attach a listener with this one so this is a toggle and then we have to attach a set on check change listener so if this is checked then we have to apply grayscale else we have to apply colored one so for this purpose we can use a flag simply here so the flag will be toggle grayscale is true else we have to make it false add a new field in this main activity whenever this toggle grayscale is enabled we have to convert this into the grayscale create a new bitmap here which will be the final bitmap and then we have to check if the toggle grayscale is enabled we have to convert this in final bitmap into the grayscale one else we have to make this final bitmap as this value of bitmap which is a colored one and then finally we have to apply it to the image view all right everything seems to be perfect right now let's check the application at this stage currently we have a colored image if i turn on this switch it will be converted to the grayscale and you can see clearly there is no lag in this one so that's all for today if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you next time